Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. When they do your Kundali matching before mm. marriage, mm. what is actually happening? Are you superimposing the two charts on each other? No, uh, kind of. But basically, you are seeing that what is the level of compatibility at uh, in using various parameters. Multiple parameters are there. Okay, uh, some parameters are whether there's a mental compatibility, uh, whether there is a family-wise compatibility, because marriage is considered not just, at least when these were devised, so marriage is not just about two individuals, it's like two families coming together. So if uh, sometimes it may show that uh, there may be lack of compatibility among the families, okay, uh, physical compatibility between the individuals, um, whether there's a support system, and then there are a few other factors which are more mystical in nature, which shows that, okay, is this union going to bring forth a uh, positive result in terms of children and other things and growth, these. So all these things are taken into account. That's one aspect of it, but that is not a final aspect. Final aspect means in my experience, uh, what is the standard matching of horoscopes is not enough. Apart from that, there are also some other techniques to find out whether uh, there is a certain level of compatibility or not possible. It becomes very crucial to do that today because um, unlike past, we have the option of divorces here. Uh, past, there was no divorces. So you get married, you are like stuck in there, more or less. Okay. Today, people get married after a few years, not even that, less than that. Things don't match, you move out. Okay. So therefore, accordingly, understanding also has to change. And have a more, uh, uh, you know, according. So, so whether there is a certain degree of compatibility in the grahas, that also has to be checked. <laughs> There's never going to be, by the way, a perfect compatibility. That doesn't happen. Have you seen a marriage where there is a bad compatibility theoretically according to the Kundli, but then it ends up in a good marriage? Is that possible or it's unlikely? So it depends on what you mean by good marriage. Isn't it like they rate it on a score of 34 or 36. something? 36. 36. Yeah. And then above a certain point also is not good and then below a certain point is also not good. You just ah, need... So that that's exactly what I was telling in the previous one, which is the previous answer I was saying. So this is the, we call the guna matching. What are the gunas, guna uh, qualities basically of matching, etc. It's like the mathematics of compatibility. Yeah, but it is not foolproof. Okay. I have seen cases where people have had low scores, but they have had good, more or less good. I, no one, no marriage is perfect ever. Hmm. Okay, but more or less good and they're doing good. Whereas I've seen cases where the matching has shown very high scores, but it did not last. That's why I say that that is not enough. There is to be a basic also checking of the condition of the grahas and how they kind of superimpose the chart with its own techniques and all are there. So that gives a more deeper clarity whether these two individuals are fit to be together. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's TRS Clips.